Life Church, we are all about leading people to become fully devoted followers of Christ. You see, we believe the local church is how God chooses to reach this lost and hurting world. And today, I'd love to show you how you are a part of it. Coming up, we'll see how volunteers from our Oklahoma City metro campuses are investing in the lives of kids through our partnership with the Mentoring Project. Then we'll look back at the celebration of our 20 year anniversary as a church. And finally, you'll see how John Abaca's assumptions about church were shattered when he walked through the doors of Life Church, Oklahoma City. We've got all that and so much more coming up. Our investment in our local communities is rooted in partnership with over 30 Christ-centered organizations committed to long-term restoration. And I had a chance to catch up with one of those organizations, The Mentoring Project, and how they are rewriting the fatherless story. Can you tell us what is The Mentoring Project all about? The Mentoring Project exists to rewrite the fatherless story through mentoring. So that means we take amazing volunteers, men and women, train them on relational mentoring principles. We really focus on the relational aspect of mentoring, the investment of attention, compassion, care, and concern in the relationship is what is gonna change the child's life. Through the Mentoring Project, over 100 Life Church volunteers serve as mentors and role models to help bring restoration and break the cycle of poverty of kids in need. I love getting um, to be a part of the Mentoring Project, getting to spend so much time with these kids one-on-one -on -one and also as a group. It gives me a chance to show some of the things that I've learned and the experience that I've had in my life, be able to give back to the kids, uh, to the next generation. Life Church's support of the Mentoring Project doesn't stop with volunteers as we recently had the honor of awarding them with a $40,000 grant to help further their mission in the Oklahoma City area. It means so much for us to have Life Church partnering with the Mentoring Project so that we can bring even more mentors into the lives of these kids. That changes the trajectory of their future. If you'd like to volunteer with one of our local partners, just connect with your campus staff and learn how you can be a part of the change happening in your community. January 2016 marked our 20th anniversary as a church and it was an amazing celebration. Take a look. And we are not spiritual consumers. We are spiritual contributors. In a world where many people are skeptical about the church, what you need to know is everyone is welcome here. Everyone. Because my goal is not to change people, but to introduce them to the Jesus who changes them. Everyone is welcome, everyone is needed, and everyone is changed. Can you describe for us just a little bit about what this weekend means to you? Well, during worship, I ugly cried. I, mean, I couldn't <laughs> control it. It's, and I think it's just, you know, 20 years of praying, trying to be faithful, giving, believing, um, taking risks, failing. Uh, it kind of all comes together and it's, it's amazing just to, to stop and look at the faithfulness of God. Over the past 20 years, we have opened 24 campus locations, have given away millions of free resources, over 200 million free Bible apps have been downloaded, and more than 300,000 people have given their lives to Christ with the best still yet to come. Our mission is to lead people to become fully devoted followers of Christ. I knew, always knew there was a God. You know, my mom had taken me to church growing up, but I didn't really know the basic principles of what it means to know God, what it means to have a real relationship with Him. I actually lived right across the street from Life Church, and I would see all the, the cars coming in. To me, the average Christian was a hypocrite. So even before I knew anyone that even went to the church, I already had these thoughts of this is how it is. So I'm gonna put that label on Life Church. As soon as you pull up in the parking lot, you see young people, people smiling, people excited to go to church. Everyone was clapping hands, bumping. Growing up, I never saw that. I never saw anybody excited to go to church. Craig got on and uh, he starts talking. I don't know even what the sermon was about that day, but I remember how it affected me. It was everything that God's been trying to tell me. And I left that place feeling like a completely different person. I didn't change immediately. Um, it took some time. It took some, some reoccurring attendance. It took some digging into the scripture. It took me going into a life group, having people sharpen me, having people invest in my life. 
my verbiage, my want to's, my drive, my passions in life are completely different. I feel like it's embedded into my, my soul and my being now. And uh, I think God wanted me there at that moment. And I think that God had been, been calling me for a long time. And uh, he used Life Church to get to me. And uh, yeah. Life Church, I hope you feel how your generosity and your serving is truly making a difference in the lives of people around the world. God is using you to lead people to become fully devoted followers of Christ.